Hey, welcome back. And this is the next episode in our series called Energy Matters. And if you've missed any of the previous episodes or you want to catch up, the playlist is currently being suggested in the top corner right now. And in this video, we're going to be covering off the topic of electric kettles and how you can avoid using grid energy to make your favorite cuppa and a lot more. So as I continue on my journey to avoid using grid energy in all its forms and soften the blow of the next price cap increase here in the UK, I wanted to share some of my experience to see if you could save money too. So the electric kettle itself is actually an amazing but simple device that we use so much and take for granted. So what I wanted to do was just go through some of the kettles I have and show you what you need to actually run them on off-grid energy. So the kettle can be used for much more than just your favorite cuppa whether that's a nice cup of tea, coffee or hot chocolate. It can also be used to cook pasta, noodles or anything that comes out of a packet that needs hot water. So for example, like a packet soup. But it can also be used for cleaning. So I add some hot water usually to a cold bowl of water if I'm going to do some washing or cleaning outside of the house. So that's anything from cleaning windows to cleaning up my bike. But again, the options that you have with a kettle are vast, especially if you can tap into using off-grid energy. Right, first up is my main kitchen kettle. And this is a fast boil Brita filter kettle. And it can pull anything between 2,520 watts right up to 3,000 watts. And that depends on the input voltage. So the input voltage on this is rated between 220 volts AC right up to 240 volts AC. So this needs a heavyweight inverter. So to power this kettle using off-grid energy, I need to use my biggest system. And currently that's made up of a 24 volt, five kilowatt hour DIY battery. Mated to an MPP solar inverter. And this 24 volt solar inverter has a three kilowatt inverter. So it enables me to run this particular setup but nothing else I currently have, even the mighty AC200P won't run this particular kettle. So the next kettle I have runs at under 1000 watts. So this in itself, if you've seen the previous video where I talk about cooking, this actually opens up more options for me. And also some of my mid to larger range systems can easily run this kettle with no problems at all. So this particular kettle runs at about 830 watts at 230 volts AC. So this kettle is better suited to systems that have an inverter size of 1000 watts or more. So in my case, it runs perfectly on my Jackery Explorer 1000, my Best Tech handheld, also my EB150 and my AC200P. Also not forgetting the 12 volt MPP solar inverter station. So next one on the list is my 500 watt kettle. So this one uses around 500 watts at about 230 volts AC. Now this one was a lot trickier to find. I was looking for a low wattage AC kettle for a long time and eventually stumbled across one on Amazon. So this kettle has proved particularly useful when it comes to using my off-grid energy because it's opened up even more of my portable power options. So this one works for my Jacker Explorer 500, my All Power 666 watt hour, and even my Budens, which is now called Super, 384 watt hour. Even though it has a 300 watt inverter, it works perfectly with this. And I'll show you that video up in the top corner right now. So last but not least is my little flask kettle. So this thing runs up to 300 watts and is a perfect one cup solution. So although it's rated up to 300 watts, it's run on all of my portable power except for the All Power's 372 watt hour, which does have a 300 watt inverter. So if you want to watch that video where I actually test it out on my smaller unit, it's now being suggested in the top corner right now. So I do get a lot of questions on this little flask kettle, so I'm just going to cover off a couple of them now. So the first one is, how long does it keep liquids hot or cold for? Now this isn't actually a traditional vacuum flask as you would normally expect. This is just a kettle that's in a flask style, so it has the heating element inside which heats up the liquid when you need to. And another is, can you heat up other liquids in this? Well, I only actually use this for water myself, so I haven't actually tried it with milk or anything else like soup. So it has a warming feature, but again, that would be down to the individual. And actually, you probably need to clean it out inside, but it does have stainless steel, so it might be possible. So as you may have noticed, I've also only focused on AC or mains powered kettles in this video. Well, I know there are actually DC options out there as well. Now, I've not actually looked into or explored them as yet, 
But if you do have any questions on the DC models or any ones that you've tried yourself or want me to have a look at, please pop that in the section below and I'll see what I can do. So there you have it, a whistle stop tour on how you can use this versatile heating device, aka the kettle, without using grid energy. So if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, please pop them in the section below and I'll respond as soon as I can. And if you like this kind of thing, why not subscribe and like this video and then come back for some more. I'm off for a couple now, so stay tuned to DaVinci.